we want to determine the prime factorization of 60, which means we want to determine the prime numbers that when we multiply them, we get 60. And a prime number is a natural number greater than one that has only two factors, one in itself. So to determine the prime factorization of 60, we'll make a prime factorization tree. So to start this, we need two numbers that have a product of 60. For example, 6 times 10. But neither 6 or 10 are prime, so we'll keep breaking these down into factors until we have prime factors. Two factors of 6 would be 2 and 3, since 2 times 3 equals 6. And both 2 and 3 are prime because, because the only factors of 2 are 1 in itself, and the only factors of 3 are 1 in itself. So these are two prime factors of 60. And two factors of 10 would be 2 and 5, since 2 times 5 equals 10. And we already know 2 is prime, and 5 is also prime because the only factors of 5 are 1 in itself. So now we have found the prime factorization of 60. And there are two ways to express this. We can write it in expanded form, and we can also write it using exponents. So in expanded form, the prime factorization of 60 would be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Notice how we do want to put the prime factors in order from least to greatest. And then using exponents, we could write 2 times 2 as 2 to the second, or 2 squared. So in exponent form, we would have 2 squared times 3 times 5. So be careful to read the directions to make sure you express the prime factorization in the correct form. We'll take a look at another example in the next video.